Hello, I'm Cristina Marujos, and you're watching the Daily Market Comment here at XM.com by Rafi Boyajian. An unprecedented wave of central bank intervention was unable to restore order in the markets on Monday. The Federal Reserve slashed its benchmark rate by a full 100 basis points on Sunday, its second emergency cut this month. The Fed also said it will buy $700 billion worth of treasuries and mortgage-backed securities to shore up liquidity in the financial system. In another extraordinary move, the Fed announced a coordinated action with other major central banks to bolster U.S. dollar liquidity via swap line arrangements, something not seen since the 2008 financial crisis. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand swiftly followed by reducing its official cash rate by 75 basis points in an unscheduled meeting overnight, while the Bank of Japan ramped up its purchases of exchange-traded funds and real estate funds at an emergency session of its own today. All this, however, failed to ease the anxiety in the markets as they face the reality of severe disruptions to economic activity globally for the next month at least. France and Spain join Italy in ordering a nationwide lockdown as the virus spreads uncontrollably across the continent, while Germany and others close their borders. European Union finance ministers will be holding a special meeting on Monday to discuss fiscal measures to support their economies. In the U.S., President Trump declared a state of emergency on Friday, allowing the release of emergency funds and the activation of measures to deal with the outbreak. Stocks surged on the back of this, but reversed sharply lower on Monday, with European indices plunging and U.S. equity futures dropping by around 4.5 percent. Losses were somewhat more restrained in Asia, but Australia was an exception as shares nosedived by almost 10 percent to record their worst one-day fall in 33 years. Dismal data out of China this morning only added to the gloom. Industrial output and retail sales tumbled in February, giving a possible glimpse as to the numbers other countries should expect in the coming months. The U.S. dollar was down almost 2 percent against the safe haven yen, even though the decline in Treasury yields wasn't quite as dramatic. This was today's Daily Market Comment at XM.com. Have a great week.